It is time to get you caught up on all the hot. Hollywood. <laughs> and one of our favorites, Justin Sylvester, is in LA. He's making himself what's some that? hot. What's that? what's that? Lipton? Hot what's tea. You got? What you got? Hot, hot tea. You guys, chamomile? it's a tea. It's a chamomile because I have to calm myself down <laughs> right now. I just realized I have been doing something wrong this whole time, and you won't believe it. What, what is, is it? it? I have been swiping right. I have been going on <laughs> blind dates, first dates, group <laughs> dates, all kinds of dates, and apparently it's wrong. The proper way to do it is how Jack Harlow did it, which is find somebody you want to get their attention, then you have to write a song, name it after them, and let it become a hit. Is that you guys what, what about? happened? No, tell what us. happened? Okay, so you guys, Jack Harlow wrote a song called Dua Lipa, and then he wanted to put it on his album. So what he did was he FaceTimed Dua Lipa, and she said, he said she was kind of weirded out at first, but she said yes. Now, apparently, the two are hanging out. Now, we don't know if it's romantic or if it's just friendly, but we have seen some photos of them leaving the same restaurant in New York, and it looks, you know, more like more than friends. So wait, wait what were the lyrics? What, what, yeah. yeah, what happened? Tell us the song oh, lyrics. He, he basically said, you know, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa, I want to do more than collaborate on a, on a project with you. Oh. Meaning that he wanted to hang out with oh. her outside of working. So you know what? Mm. I'm going to take his advice. <laughs> I'm going to manifest that way. And I'm going to drop an album. Okay, okay, let's hear it. What's your song? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. It looks like that's your new title. That's my new album cover. It's called Come Home, Brad Pitt. <laughs> so does anybody have Brad Pitt's number so I can FaceTime him? Okay. Make sure I it's cool. I don't know, but Come Home, Brad Come Pitt home sounds Brad like the holiday beautiful. song we've been waiting for. Talk, about, talk to us about Drake. Okay, you guys, Drake is making headlines right now, and it's not because he has a new single out or he's not dating somebody. It's a big piece of jewelry that he just dropped some dough on. What? Take a look at this necklace right here. Okay, wow. this necklace is called Previous Engagements. And the jeweler, Alex Moss, said that Drake wanted a necklace that represented all the times that he almost popped the question. Whoa. Can that's... you guess how many stones? Can 25? you guess how many stones? It looks like a lot. 30? Okay, it is 40. Two stones. Wait, that can't he be did real. Not. He was 42 not in love times 42 he wanted times. to get no. engaged. Jenna, Jenna, I am with you. Jenna, I am with you. The math ain't mathing, okay? Because if the math was right, hold on, hold on, let me do my math real quick. He's 36. Um, I'm gonna take out the first 15 years because yeah. you don't know what love is in the first 15 years. No, no. And then, uh, divided by 42. That means that he wanted to propose 2.1 times a year. If I am Drake's ex, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> Who's the other girl you wanted to propose to while we were together? Exactly. Oh, All my right. gosh. Wow. Okay, so Kate Hudson, yeah. we hear she's putting out some new music. Kate Hudson just sent her acting agents into a frenzy, oh. you guys, okay? She is out on the road promoting Glass Onions right now, that huge movie that's out, yeah. that's going to be the biggest movie of the year next to Avatar, I think. Mm -hmm. And she went on Fallon. And she said this. I've been making a record for like Kate. a year. Yeah. You know, I had this thing at COVID. Uh, everyone, every time you're doing interviews, people are like, like, do you have any regrets? You know? And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm early 40s. Like, yeah, not man. yet. Not yet. I don't have any regrets. Yeah, but, but during COVID, I was like, you know, what am I doing? Like, I actually write. I've been writing music since I was 19, and like. <laughs> I've never shared it. And so I, I just thought that would be one of my great regrets. Like, I have no expectations. Yeah, why not just do it? I just it? want to put a record out. Oh. Um, you know what, Justin? I was on her podcast okay. with her brother. Like, you know, Oliver. You know oh. <laughs> the universe is supposed to be fair. This woman can act. She can sing. <laughs> she is that pretty. Why did the universe not hit me with some kind of talent? Okay, that's How not... How is this not working for me? First of all, you're a great yeah. talker. But, I, yeah. but, Justin, I was on our podcast what? with her brother. Can anybody hear me? Or <laughs> I just talking into the ethos. And they told me... I can't hear you that, guys. I don't know what's going on, oh, but okay. I'm going to go well, ahead. I'll, all right, I'll tell you a commercial break. Right. Jeez, love you. So, wait, what happened? Okay, so he told me <laughs> that they told me that I said, which one is your favorite is Goldie Hawn's favorite child. Oh. And Oliver, her brother, yeah. said, well, you are because you just wrote a song for Mom. And that's so what she that's told me. So that's when you have the kid yes. on the back. All right. All right. All right. You can get <laughs> Justin. He can't hear us, but y'all can hear him because he's hosting E! News weeknights at 1130 on our sister network, right. E!